Hey everyone, it's Corey and Taylor with the Meals team. We're gonna give you a market update of what we saw in September. Taylor, how's it going today? I'm doing great, how about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I wanted to start the call off. Um, according to uh, Mortgage News Daily, I wanna talk about interest rates. Um, according to that, today we're seeing a 30 year fixed mortgage at 7.15. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the effect that that's having on our local real estate market. So um, let me share these slides with you guys. Taylor, let's talk about what we're seeing in Grayson County. Okay, so Grayson County, if you take a look at this, you'll see the median sales price is up a little over 21%. And then if you look over, you'll see though where the bulk of the listings, what price range they're coming in. And they are coming in at the little, a little bit of the lower range, that two to 299 uh, range. And then you'll see anything that's really 353 and over tends to sit a little bit longer just because it's a higher price point in this area. Um, active listings are up 91.8%. So I know we talked about interest rates. Um, a, a lot of things that we're seeing too is because those interest rates are up, um, a lot of buyers have stepped away from actively looking in the market. So the homes are sitting a little bit longer than we saw before. So if you look at days on market, total is 78. Days on the market, 39, and then a 39 days to close. Whereas last year, it was probably closer to about a week on the market before you went under contract or less. So that's definitely having an effect there. Um, on the other end of that though, closed sales in Grayson County are still up 7.2%. So people are still buying homes, things are still moving, they're just moving at a little bit slower pace. And then months of inventory, 3.3 compared to 1.9 last year. So looking at those numbers and talking about interest rates going up and, you know, inventory sitting on the market a little bit longer, it is still technically, you know, very much a seller's market, but because of what we've seen over the past couple of years, and how intense things have been moving and how quickly it has definitely drastically slowed down, but it is still a seller's market. Yep, absolutely. And one thing to that point, it's a seller's market. The, the properties we're seeing that are moving quicker, um, and this is going to be something you hear us talk about, is those are the ones that are priced appropriate, appropriately. They're priced where those buyers see, they're still seeing value. And um, we're really having to look at the most recent sales data to price properties now. Um, comps from two, three, four months ago are kind of irrelevant. We're really looking at the pending listings and we're looking at the stuff that's closed within the last 30 days to really gauge uh, what the market's doing and um, where we need to be listing properties. Uh, for Cook County, we're seeing the same thing. Um, median price is up. And Cook County had, just, just so everybody knows, last year an investor offloaded a bunch of very low end properties. So when you see that the 90.3% uh, median sales price up 90.3%. Just know that last year it was down so low because this one investor offloaded in the month of September, like 30 properties that were around a hundred thousand um, or just a little over. So take that number with a grain of salt. Um, active listings are up 98.8% compared to last year. Um, days on market, uh, when you look at it's 12 days less than September of 2021, Cook County always has some interesting data that goes along with it, and it never really follows the trends of other local counties, but um, closed sales in Cook County are down 57.1%, and this is where we're really starting to see uh, the effects of, of interest rates um, leading to listings sitting a little bit longer and months of inventory at 4.2 months compared to 2.2 in September of 21. So there's there's uh, quite a bit going on over there in Cook County. And once again, to reiterate, a lot of that is going to be in the 100 to the really the 400,000 price point is where we're seeing a majority of those listings. Yeah, and just kind of to lay this out there, so everybody knows with the months on inventory, so six months is, is what we would consider a balanced market. So that's where we're coming from, where we say it's still a seller's market. So anything below that six month mark would still be considered a seller's market. Yep. Um, but Phantom County, so median price is down 5.8%. Looks like the bulk of their homes that are selling are in that lower end. So that 100, I think it says 198, 99 um, sales price. Uh, active listings are up 122.4%. 
Days on market are 70, so six days less than last year. Closed sales down 14.6%, and then months on inventory close to that uh, 4.3 mark. So again, we talked about it being a seller's market, and I know with looking at these numbers and seeing things sitting, a lot of sellers are asking, well, why would I list right now? Or they're scared to list, whatever the case may be. And that goes back to the point of why it is so important to price it correctly from the get-go and not using, because typically we may use comps up to six months ago when looking at pricing a property. Well, those again are irrelevant right now, even two to three months ago are irrelevant. Mm -hmm. So looking at what's pending, looking what's on the market and what prices they're at, how long those houses have been sitting and just being very strategic with the pricing um, is you know, what's going to work the best right now in this kind of weird market that we're having. So a lot of sellers may say that they're scared or it's not a great time to list. When in reality, as long as they're very smart and strategic about it, things are still moving pretty quickly. Um, you know, if it is priced from or priced correctly from the get go. Absolutely. Um, here in Sherman, we're seeing uh, median sales price up 28.4%. Active listings also up 33%. And I don't know if y'all remember the trend uh, last year, and really the last two years, anytime we would talk about the number of active listings, it was down 20%, 30%. And there was just nothing to choose from. Um, we're seeing uh, it takes about on average 31 days to get a, an accepted contract on those listings, and then another 30 days to close, 33 days to close. Uh, still, a bulk of those properties under the $400,000 price point. Um, closed sales up 6.9%, months of inventory 2.2% compared to 1.6%. So um, whenever you're going, when you're going 100 miles an hour and you slow down to 70 miles an hour and you're going the speed limit now, it feels like you're going really slow, which is where we're at. Everything was moving so quick over the past uh, two years and now we're getting back to what is more considered a balanced market. And so a lot of people, as Taylor mentioned, they, they're freaking out. They're thinking, okay, the market's completely slowing down. The market's completely crashing. No, we're getting back to a balanced, healthy market. And this is a, this is a good thing for sellers and for buyers. Um, it gives buyers a chance to make an informed decision. It gives sellers a chance to um, make calculated moves if they need to sell a home and buy a home and know where they need to go. So, um, we're just getting back to more of a normal balanced market with all of the stuff that we're seeing. Yep. And looking over at Denison, uh, median sales price up 15.2%. Again, those, the bulk of those are within that 100 to under 300 price range. Active listings are up 93%, closed sales down 17.3%. Uh, days on market 62, which was eight days less last year at this time, and then months on inventory 2.3. So I know we talked about like in uh, past videos how, uh, you know, a few months ago when interest rates started going up, we said, uh, you know, we'll see in the next few months how these affect the market. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're in the middle of it all. And we'll continue to see what happens with uh, the market and prices and days on market and things like that as we progress to the end of the year. But we are definitely in the middle of, you know, seeing all those effects right now. Yeah, absolutely. And um, guys, if you're a seller, uh, it's, it's very important to be pricing your property according to what the market shows. One thing that uh, in the past two, 18 to 24 months, people would say, well, let's just put a number out there and see what happens. And usually you would get that number. Now, if you have that mentality of like, let's list it high and just see what happens, I can tell you right now, and Taylor can tell you, your property is going to sit on the market and it's going to, then you're going to have to start doing price reductions. Buyers are going to start coming in lower. But if you price that at an attractive price point where buyers see the value of your property, um, then you're going to have no issues getting it sold. And of course, our marketing is going to, going to help get maximum exposure on that listing. So Taylor, if somebody was on the other side of that and they're looking to buy right now, what would you be telling them as far as, yes, interest rates are high, um, that's going to affect their buying power and their monthly payment. What, what kind of uh, stuff are you telling your buyer clients right now? So I think just like sellers, we're talking about sellers being scared or saying, why would I, you know, list right now, buyers are on the same end. They're saying, you know, interest rates are at, uh, you know, higher than we've seen in years. Why would I buy right now? But the good thing about being a buyer in this market is, like I said before, a lot of buyers have stepped back because 
a lot of people unfortunately may have gotten priced out by interest rates and they just aren't interested in looking at a lower price point property. But the good thing with all of them stepping back is that you do not have near as much competition as you've had over the past you know, couple of years that we've seen. Uh, there are still properties that are hitting the market, like you said, that are priced very attractively to buyers that are, you know, may still get multiple offers, but you have a lot less competition because price or homes are sitting on the market longer, you have more negotiating power with the seller. So before where you might have to go under contract and think, well, I'm not even going to be able to do an inspection or have an option period or whatever the case is. Now we're able to be a little bit more picky with our searching and our criteria um, another thing that a lot of buyers are doing right now is asking for seller concessions. So there are some properties where you may be able to get concessions from the seller to use that money to either say buy down your interest rate. So that's a really popular thing right now. Buyers are using those seller concessions to buy down that rate to be able to lock in a lower monthly payment. Um, so there's some options out there for buyers for sure. And it's definitely a lot less pressure and chaotic for buyers right now because there's a lot of a lot less buyer pull than there was even you know six months ago. Exactly, um, guys. If you have questions about anything we've talked about or your property specifically and what it could be worth in this market, or if you're a buyer and you want to know more about what an interest rate buy down would look like, we'd love to get you in touch with one of our preferred lenders so that they can answer all those questions. Of course, we'd love to do a market valuation if you're thinking about selling. Um, and with that, uh, we hope you guys have a great day, and we will talk to y'all later.